Some of what you are going to see tonight, uh, crafted, planned, honed, written, this, this not, not that. <laughs> um, we're just going to get it started off. Well, let's introduce our band. On the keys, we got Zach Marsh. Yeah. On guitar, we got Brett Morris. Yeah. Yeah. On the drums, we got Eric Calver. That's Zach Reno. That's Jess McKenna. Can we get a word, any word at all? Airport. 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 Thank you so much. Can you guess so, that the group please. that we're about to invite to the stage is in fact called, give it up for, Erin and Melissa! Wow, wow, wow. Thank you guys for being here. How are you? Yeah. We're Erin and Melissa. We do uh, musical comedy, I guess. So does everyone here. Normally we have to like talk about that. <laughs> Um, yeah, the disclaimer we normally give is just that what you're going to hear is going to be, like, really beautiful. Yeah. And so um, sometimes that, like, like causes an emotional reaction people aren't used to. And so, like, if you need to feel something, do that. But, like, still laugh because these are also still jokes. Yeah. Because um, then it's, like, hard for us to, to see it. Um, to feel it. Yeah. Um, so we, um, we kind of, we used to do comedies just, like, only comedy, and then we were like, We need jobs to pay. Are you positive? Uh, yes. Whoa. <laughs> um, so we used to do comedy, now we have to get nine to five, so you know how that works. And we were like, We gotta do more songs for like the corporate audience, so that's kind of what we're working, we're workshopping that for you guys tonight. Is if you guys need anything like team building, 
Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm in software sales, and we have to go up early because we have uh, morning meetings. But so, like, if you like songs, um, you know, we'll sing those. And also, like, if you have, like, a small group that's, like, trying to work through things, um, just, like, ask for our card because we've got corporate stuff we can do. Anyway. Yeah. Um, this is one of those things. Yes. <laughs> So just know that yeah. in case you're like, will that apply to me? We can tweak uh -huh. it. We can tweak it to your interests and needs. <laughs> um, okay. Have any of you ever felt depressed? Oh, that's good. Thank you for helping because Erin has been working on her um, intro. Work. So you being My supportive crowd. is great. So. Do you guys ever... normal. Yeah. Do you guys ever feel like you're alone? <laughs> Thank you. Do you guys ever have multiple personalities? <laughs> okay, do you ever watch uh, the documentary Going Clear on HBO? Okay, that's specific. We'll workshop it. It's okay. <laughs> I broke down. Um, we wrote this song um, about Scientology, okay? Um, okay, you know what? It's... It's down. It's gone downhill. Uh, the only thing you need to know about this: don't put it on the internet because don't, we just like can't be murdered in our sleeps. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Thank 
girl, let me show you the way. You've got something inside, things you've been trying to hide. They came from space, but we can send them away for the low price of $3.99. Like, give or take four or five million dollars. <laughs> But I said, if you've got three days, you've got a friend. Someone who's been there beginning to end. This prison planet might just be pretend. If you've got three days, you've got a friend. One more time with Gus Snow, Aaron. Okay. I said, if you've got three She's the patron saint of the South. Um, and so we were like, who would she ever want to fill her shoes? Probably it would take two people. Yeah. It would eat, I would be the left shoe, she'd be the right shoe. That's right. Um, uh, so we were like, let's do a Dolly tribute that's like fit for our time, and she'll probably just come a knocking on the door. Um, and, and so. So that's, uh, so this song is available on iTunes. <laughs> Aaron's mom did ask if there was a place she could get it for, for free. free. So just feel <laughs> Okay, we can't talk about it. <laughs>
can tell them. <laughs> um, what were we doing? Um, oh, uh, so I said, before you Pokemon leave, why don't you Pokemon stay? Why don't you Pokemon stop before you Pokemon go? Succession theme song. Correct. Yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the funniest people I've ever had the honor of encountering on this planet. Please give it up for Debbie Adichuibe! Hi, hello, hi. Thank you so much uh, for to Zach and Jess for having me. Please give it up for them. Again, so I need about 30 seconds for this projector to come down. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, thank you. Okay. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just... I wanted to load it first and then... You, you, everyone close your ears. This doesn't concern you. I wanted to load it first and then unmute it so that I could... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for Valentine's Day is coming up, and I really do love Valentine's Day. Uh, I think that a lot of people sort of discuss it in a way where it's more about romantic love than anything else. Maybe turn it on. Huh? Turn it on. I, I keep hearing, like, I know it's you, but I keep just thinking, like, is my inner voice somehow <laughs> speaking out in a way that... On. Is it on now? Great. The, thing, the worst part is it's on a black screen, so we won't even know it's, if it's working until I have to hit the next thing. It's gonna be great. Everyone get excited for this. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Uh, I, I think a lot of people uh, use it as an example to, or as a moment to sort of celebrate romantic love, but I think that there's uh, deeper love than that, and I think that I love celebrating Valentine's Day. It's just a celebration of everything I love, the people that sort of make me who I am, and uh, my friends and uh, my loved ones who aren't like my partner or whatnot. And so for this Valentine's Day, I wanted to celebrate the person that I consider uh, the greatest inspiration in my life, the person who sort of taught me uh, the confidence to exist in spaces that I might not necessarily uh, be used to. And that is... Uh, The Ikea monkey. Yeah. So let me quickly explain what happened with the Ikea monkey because if you don't understand, this is going to be a very confusing 10 minutes. 2,599 2, days ago, December 9, 2012, a tiny little snow macaque in a fur coat, this exact one, wandered into an Ikea. It was there for about an hour. Uh, a few people sort of took pictures, posted them on Twitter. Twitter went crazy for three days and then they all forgot about it. I didn't forget about it. <laughs> How could I? I mean, from the second I saw that, I knew that uh, I didn't have to follow the path that I wanted, you know? I could be that little monkey who saw the sign that says, no monkeys allowed in an Ikea, and still trudges forward. And so in order to keep his memory alive, he's still alive, but you know. Actually, I don't know, who knows? Uh, to keep his memory alive, I decided to write a little musical about that little guy, and I'd like to perform it all for you tonight. Alright, here comes the fun part where I gotta
gotta set up some shit. Yeah. It wasn't the part before. <laughs> this is him. Aww. Aww. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you can't see it, but he's right here. Yeah, he's so cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys have no idea how hard it is to find an IKEA monkey plush. <laughs> Just keep on wishing and hoping I'm destined for something more. Then one day a customer asks for my wisdom. I walk through the aisles to try and assist them. I hear a worried voice on the PA system saying, Drummers, please be aware. There is a wild animal loose and roaming at the premises. They ask us to leave the store for our own benefits. I'm thinking it's a moose or a lion or an elephant. And then I see him standing there. It's just a tiny Japanese snow macaque in a jacket made of fur. The customer ran and screamed, Oh, monkey! What was he doing in this part of the country? Never had the world felt so alive as the moment that this occurred. Could this be the change of pace for which I hoped? God bless this cute, confused little creature in the comfortable cold. <laughs> Holy cow! A capuchin monkey in an Ikea? What we- Oh, sorry, a snow monkey. Wait, you can understand me? I can understand you? How convenient! I agree, we don't need to dive any deeper into it than that. Now, I really should be getting back to work. I have a lot of stuff to do with the Ikea. What's that? Uh, we don't sell friends at the Ikea. Sorry, buddy. You have to go Wait, you want me? to be your friend? Uh, <sighs> we be friends? I mean, I'm a human, he is a simian. He feels stylish and pretty cool. If he's into me, I guess I could be into him. I'm not quite sure how he got here. And whether or not he's alone is still not clear. But he could make my life better if I think of all the things we could do together, like ride a roller coaster, go to the mall, eat a bunch of ice cream, do prank calls, stay up late discussing our ambitions, throw some eggs at racist politicians. We could go to a ball game, give each other tight hugs, co direct a movie, have an underground fight club, play some Monopoly or watch The Sopranos, get up on the stage and pretend to play piano, do go kart racing, sing at the Super Bowl, take a martial arts class, sacrifice a human soul, jump off a bridge only if everybody's doing it, build a house of cards, and then go on to ruin it. Get a bunch of fire locks, put them in a fireplace, start a big valley, now we gotta get the house replaced, do a bunch of edibles and wear matching orange, discuss how we film about the films of Martin Lawrence. What's your favorite? I mean, for me, it's gotta be Bad Boys too. What? That's Dave Chappelle. What are you... Okay, that's Tyrese Gibson, I think? That's President Barack Obama. These people are not in... What are you... They don't look anything alike. Oh, I don't like how this has turned out. All right, I'm gonna pass this. We could even call my mom up on the phone and help her set up the remote. Just me and this cute little critter in the country. Oh, fuck. I know that sound. It's Canadian Animal Control. Hey, you there! Okay, shit, we gotta hide you. Here, get in this spacious, comfortable wardrobe known as a beak stat. Get in there, hide. <laughs> yes, it is very affordable, now come on. Hey, buddy, 
You work here. Yeah, what's up? All right, well, we're with the Canadian Animal Control. And first things first, don't ask us why we's got 50s New York accents or from Canada. Got second thing second. You seen a tiny little monkey in a fur coat wandered around this year's store? Monkey in a fur, monkey in a fur coat. A tiny monkey in a fur coat. Okay, I think if you'd seen a monkey wandering around the Ikea, it'd be a memorable enough experience that you wouldn't need this much recall, so I'm gonna say your answer is no. Sorry, fellas, I wish I'd seen him, but, uh, you know, I, I, I wish I could help you, but I'm just Wait gonna have to. Wait a minute. We never said nothing about the monkey being a boy. Yeah! How'd you know it was a him? Uh, I, I mean, I thought all monkeys were boys. Uh, um, oh, right, I forgot. Monkeys, monkeys are boys, boys and bears, bears are girls. girls. Sucks. Right, yeah, exactly. Uh, so when you find the little guy, are you going to just let him go free, or what, what are you going to do? Nah, with... we're going to kill him. Our boss of the animal control gives us one free kill a month. <laughs> and we're using this month's kill on the monkey. <laughs> Oh my god, get out of here, little buddy. Did you hear what they just said? Did you hear any of that? You missed all of it? Oh, fine, I'll have to recap it for you. Or in fact, let me just re-wrap it for you. Well, I'm in a little monkey down at the Ikea. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's doing a windman run. Fuck! Okay, no, we gotta go. Okay, come on, just follow me. We really gotta get you out of this goddamn Ikea right now. All right, come on, this way. What are you doing? No, what are you doing? Come on, follow me this way. We gotta go. No, we gotta go now. Why are you... Stop. What are you... No matter the time, no matter the distance, I'll remember what we were And the feelings in me that he could evoke One day we'll meet again I'll say farewell till then Goodbye, my cute little friend In the comfortable Oh, oh my gosh. Nice. 
stars. What a mystery that that monkey was there. And this and is a song about a different mystery. This is a song, this one's written, and you can tell because there's a track that goes with it. Yes. About a different clothing mystery. Yeah, thanks so much. Hit it. Hello, I got a question to posit. Can I take a look inside, inside your closet? closet? I got a fashion mystery to figure out. I gotta know, what exactly is a blouse? Ooh, you organize like a rock star. I'm gonna skip to the spot where the tops are. Now this is a coat, and this is a jacket, but what is this shirt? I've got to unpack it. First thing that I'll be spotting, this v-neck shirt that's made of cotton. And I can go ahead and rule it out, because I know if it's cash, then it's not a blouse. So I know a little bit about this, like I know the plural of a blouse is. Blouse is, and hey, this looks like a blouse to me, but I can't figure out what a blouse should be. What is it? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> what is a blouse? Like, what the hell is a blouse? I've been trying so hard to figure it out. Is it like not all houses are mansions, but every single mansion's a house? Whoa! What is a blouse? Why will nobody say? I am the scientist who just ran away while shouting every mouse is a rodent, but every rodent is not a mouse. Whoa! What is a blouse? Can it be worn in modern times by sexy people written by Shonda Rhimes? Or should it have died with the plague since it's plagued with the curse of being paid? Is it dissimilar to a baggy shirt or a sail too small for a boat to work, a pillowcase? But with a place for arms, a v-neck with exceptional grace and charm. A classic tee that got loose and swollen. A button-up with all the buttons stolen. And a flattering protection against the handsy. Or a normal shirt that says, Stay on fancy. A raincoat. A, a clock without a hood. And it doesn't protect against the rain so good. A three-piece suit. But only the vest piece. And, and the, the vest, vest doesn't resemble, resemble a vest, vest in the least. I have no fucking idea. What, what is a blouse? Why is nobody sure? I asked my grandpa. Says a blouse is a loose fitting upper garment worn by both workmen and artists and peasants and women and children and men. Men, they can't be right, but I check it again. It says it can be the jacket of a military uniform. This is the clothing equivalent of a unicorn, traditionally gathered up by a waistband. God damn, Wikipedia is a wasteland. It doesn't stop there. I don't understand. Not every pant is a trouser, but every trouser's a pant. What is a pant? Is it half of some pants? How is it? Act to the stage. You've seen them on Conan, in Bridesmaids, on Glow. Please welcome to the stage the, the Apple, Apple Sisters! Sisters! We know what blouses are. <laughs> it's January 21st, 1943, and you're listening to
Women are paid less than men. There's racial inequality. And a dictator is in power. Buzz, 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 buzz so 1943. 1943. Oh. Yeah. oh, yes, we'd like to also introduce you to our piano player, Jerome. Yeah. Oh, yes, and if you'd like to find him after the show, he'll be on Grinder. Yes, he's a butcher. That's right, he really knows how to pound that meat. Oh, speaking of pound meat, I'd like to say a special hello to my husband, Cheryl, who is a man fighting in the war overseas. <laughs> Cheryl, that's a funny name for a boy. Sure is. Hello, ladies. I clocked you when I was standing in the audience earlier. All right, well, I would like to say hello to my boyfriend, God, who's watching over all of us right now with his special satellite. Because we're on a satellite. Oh, buzz, 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 boy. That was a good job. Well, I would like to say a very, very special hello to all the sailors out in the audience. I just love semen. Yeah! Oh! Oh, I'm the slutty one. <laughs> we have characters too. <laughs> Not as pronounced. <laughs> oh, girls! Why are going to be so miserable when those boys get shipped overseas? My lips are going to be so lonely. My Which lonely lips? lips? Your upstairs lips or your downstairs lips? Candy. What?
wants a facial after no. the show. All right. I don't think the ladies are going to give you that kind of a facial, can they? Oh, you haven't been with the ladies I've been with. <laughs> Sounds you like a problem. You guys squirt? Unrelated. <laughs>
to party. Hey, Satellite, are you ready to party? Yeah! Uh, well, you're in luck, because the greatest party band of all time is about to take the stage. Yeah, what more can we say? Please give it up for the Sloppy Boys! Check. Check! Have we got any other Dutton fans out there? Out here in uh, 
silver, like, you know, we're from Los Feliz, California. But we like to do a little road gig, you know? We took two buses to get here. Cool, it's beautiful. The hills, the weather, we love it, my God. The hipsters all over the place down here. Hey, can I get a macchiato? Come on! Here's one thing that we share. Hey, whether you're a Los Feliziano or a Silver Lake hipsterino, uh, you probably love a certain little uh, baseball team by the name of the Dodgers. But I think we can all admit we're always looking forward to that one time in the summer when that certain that special time oh. there's a special <laughs> time when a certain time. other team comes to visit and let's just say they're from a little city a little one from a small state it begins with an O and ends with an O <laughs> Coming to our town, and when they get in, they're gonna want to get down. The pitcher, the catcher, the shots up and the rest. We got a party with the rest. Do 
trucks in style. There was a ball full of fancy parties, big as trees, a mountain of cocaine, but we forgot it all.
<laughs> uh, I, let me give me a thumbs up when you're ready. How's everyone doing out there? Anyone going to work tomorrow? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I work the best job. I test candy all day. <laughs> Don't let your dentist find out. Uh, <laughs> well, let him find out. He might be happy. It gives him something to do. Oh, this is going to be bad news for the next person to use. Oh, I hope it's... Ooh, ooh, what if it's a tall basketball player? What if Magic Johnson comes by? We're in the right seat. Guys, I'm going to bring out the, the final group, these guys. Are, you, you know them, you love them. The name of the band is... EPIC! Thank you. We're everyone's favorite four lead singer emo band. Yeah, of course, Blair Witch Project. Carmington Trey. Neil Nocturne. And Moshi Black, my niece taught me how to floss today. The dance? The dance? The dance. The dance. Yeah, yeah, cool. cool. Um, we haven't toured in a while, so what, we, what we're trying to do to give back to fans is like, um, hear what your favorite song is. That's right. I kind of like that you started out, so um, we're very famous. You know, and, and you can name a song off of Basement People. That's a good one. Things, places, songs Perfect. forgotten. Yeah, so we're yeah. kind of so famous that even people that don't know us know us. So by right. Has anyone not seen us before? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, ma'am. So could you just shout out your favorite song of ours? No, I can't. No, I no, can't. I can't. Yeah, no, I can't. Thank you. It's a deep cut. It's a true fan. Yeah, see?
reasons my house is a church legally a place of worship mm -hmm. you can do that to any building did mm -hmm. you know yeah. any building can be a church if you tell the government this is a church that's right that's right mm -hmm. oh uh, neil by the way talking about houses did you end up being able to find an apartment or just no uh it's just, long story short just a flat no oh okay. i mean there's a housing crisis there's a house. housing crisis right now and it's really tough to find a spot and, totally. and it's hard because i mean obviously we've been touring a lot but i've incurred a lot of debts and i also just like whatever <laughs> money i can make uh playing jack skellington down on hollywood boulevard yes. it doesn't really yes. pull it in so, did you ever 
Do you ever read uh, uh, Tom Sawyer, Huck Finn? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no that, really? No, no, I was a conscientious objector to that. To that book. Sure. <laughs> That's another thing you can do. If yes. you're in school and someone tells you to read a book, you say, I'm a conscientious objector to that book. Yeah. That's cool. They can't make you read. Uh, that was just a by way of saying, I found a big spacious barrel and I've been sleeping in it. Oh, <laughs> nice! Neil, heck yeah! Yeah. yeah. Why can you afford a physical how? I guess is my question. And how'd you get that barrel, dude? Oh, I just, how'd I get that barrel? Yeah, yeah. how'd you get that barrel? God, well, you know, I went down to uh, this uh, old west town. No, no, Neil. Yeah. How'd, how'd you, you get, get that, that barrel? barrel? How'd you get that barrel, Neil? <laughs> what you thought was banter was an elaborate setup. I mean, who knows when they could return to their territory, but there were six in there when I shoot them oh, away. Wow. In one wow. barrel. There really is a housing crisis. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Good for you, man. Yes! I'm proud of you. In fairness, they're, they're nocturnal creatures, so when I come out during the day, they may reoccupy the barrel. Oh, yeah. And honestly, yeah. that's great. That's problem solving. And that's, and that's being vulnerable, and that's so fucking real. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what, Yeah. That's huge, man. That's, That's huge. huge. Our hearts are on our sleeves and on all the other parts of our clothes. Speaking of being vulnerable, the quarantine, you're fucking dating again. That's huge. Good luck, Dave. You said you were never going to do it. I said it's I was never going to do it. It's weird for you to bring it up. Me? <laughs> well, it's weird for you. 
Well, yeah, we we used to date, you know, because you're a massive fan. <laughs> right. But here's the thing, I'm, I'm fucking fine with it. Moshe. <laughs> Moshe, your eyes are super Moshe. awesome. Right I'm now. fucking fine with it, and honestly, we were meant to be friends, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but no, it's great. Come on, it's great. What's no, that? no, no, it's like going good, but it's like still early, so I'm afraid to talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's, that's such a real it. time. You don't want to like jinx it or whatever. Yeah, I mean, he, like he's here, ball. but like, don't worry about it. Oh. No, Moshe, don't. <laughs> Moshe, don't look for him. Don't look for him. You're Moshe, not gonna know don't him. Your don't bother. Don't, your body is not built for combat, and you know it. Yeah. <laughs> You've learned it the hard way. Come on, please, don't look for him, Moshe. What is that? Hey, listen, I... <laughs> what is that? Are you making goggles? Yeah, so yeah, yeah like night vision. vision. It's darker there, so I'm making a little bit of a night vision. You can, you make a little, no, hey, a tunnel of light. Hey, when the time is right, yeah. I'll introduce you, okay? Just awesome, don't, I love that. Don't look for, Moshe. I met him on Moshe. Yeah. Let go of my hand. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> Do you want to sing our song? I'd love that. <laughs> Should be nice. It's called, you're always thanks to friends. Here, here, full disclosure. This was a song they wrote when they were together. Right. They have then had to retroactively change a lot of the lyrics. Yes, yes. We, yeah. we, we released it the first time. Yeah, was, and was, yeah. Then we re-released the edited version. And this happens all the time. Fleetwood Mac also did an edited version where yeah. they kind of... Which, by the way, And that's a comparison we get a lot. If you write a song where the lyrics are no longer true, don't tell me that song was a moment in time. Update your song. Update yes. your song. Update that's why George Lucas is the most brilliant <laughs> actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you. Con shot whenever he shot. He said. That's no, what whenever. he says. Whenever. This yeah. is their song. And this is, of course, yeah, this is our song, I Will Always Love You for Four Months. <laughs>
Don't look for him. Don't torture yourself. Don't look for him. Don't white look for him. Shirt? No. Maybe a sweater, maybe a white long shirt? Nope. Stop okay. guessing. Stop guessing. Okay. We got time for one more. We like to end our concerts where we start them by doing the same. S no. <laughs> uh, I got another request from someone who hasn't seen us but knows us very well. Who yeah. else has never seen us before? Yes, in the back. What's, a, what's your favorite song of ours? I hope to. Uh, oh my gosh, you guys should be friends. Yeah. True fans. I hope to. Thank you.